Hello fellow art nerds, welcome back to another video. Today I will be drawing Wesley Kandinsky in a cute, cartoonish anime style, while teaching you some fun facts you may or may not know about him. Kandinsky was born on December 16, 1866 in Moscow, Russia. He was one of the very first abstract painters in modern painting, since most artists were very realistic painters at the time. He wanted to paint in a way where all the elements of art were visible without using actual objects or things you could recognize. Some paintings you may know from him are squares with concentric circles, composition X, and composition 8. Kandinsky had something rare called synesthesia, or joint perception, which is when you automatically sense two of your five senses at once. For instance, if you heard certain sounds, you might see flashes of color or taste something in your mouth. Kandinsky would physically see colors when he would hear music, and that inspired a lot of his artwork. His mother was from Moscow, one of his great-grandmothers was a Mongolian princess, and his father was native to Kyaktas, Siberia, which was near the Chinese border. This in turn caused him to grow up with both European and Asian cultural heritage. Kandinsky's family traveled a lot, and they visited Venice, Rome, Florence, the Caucasus, and the Crimean Peninsula, until finally settling in Odessa, Ukraine in 1971. There, he finished secondary school and became an amateur pianist, cello player, and painter. This was where he first became interested in color and believed that each color had a mysterious life of its own. In 1866, he began to study law and economics at the University of Moscow, but was still very curious about color. He constantly thought about Moscow's vivid architecture, which can be found as inspiration for his artwork. In 1889, the university sent him off to study a culture in Vologda, a province in a forest. When he returned home, he gained a love of the non-realistic style of Russian folk painting. During that year, he also discovered Rembrandt's work in the Hermitage, a Russian museum, and decided to keep learning about art with a trip to Paris. Meanwhile, he still continued law school and graduated in 1893 with a doctorate. By this point, Kandinsky wasn't interested in continuing his law career and wanted to be a painter. He had to make a tough decision to decide what he wanted to do with his future. In what he called a now or never mood, he would travel to Germany to become a painter. He enrolled in a private school run by Anton Asbe, who was a realist painter. After two years at the school, he decided to take a year to work and learn on his own. The following year, he re-enrolled in a different school, the Munich Academy where he was taught by Franz von Stuck, who was a painter, sculptor, printmaker, and architect. He graduated with a diploma and began a successful career as a professional artist. Kandinsky was first inspired by Impressionism, Art Nouveau, Pointillism, European Expressionism, and French Fauvism, all because of their interesting and unique use of color. However, he still hadn't forgotten his inspirations from back in Moscow, and sometimes used extremely vibrant colors and patterns to match what he remembered. Kandinsky usually had art shows with groups of other artists, like the Munich Phalanx Group. In 1909, he bought a house in Murnau, Bavaria. However, he still worked in Munich, switching between the two places to work and paint. Because of this, he began to develop his own art style some more, slowly becoming a purely abstract artist. Kandinsky's art style was a combination of everything that had influenced him. He wanted to recreate what it was like to have synesthesia, where he wanted to paint what music looked like. While he wasn't the first artist to be inspired by the feeling of music, he was still one of the most influential abstract artists, along with the Cubanism artist that became popular in 1909. Even though he wasn't the only or first artist within the abstract art movement, he was still called the founder of abstract art. This is mostly because of an artwork he created in 1910 that's been given the name First Abstract Watercolor. Research done in the 1950s says that this artwork was actually created a little later in 1913 and was probably an experiment he did before painting Composition 7. Kandinsky was an active member of the avant-garde art movement. Avant-garde artists created artwork that wasn't popular or seen as good in most people's eyes, but instead experimented with pushing the boundaries of what art was. He helped found the 1909 New Artists Association, and later created a different group with Franz Marc called Der Blau Reiter or The Blue Rider, named after one of Kandinsky's 1903 paintings. In 1917, Kandinsky returned to Russia, wanting to integrate with Russian life. 
The following year, he became a professor at the Moscow Academy of Fine Arts and wrote an autobiography that was released by the Moscow government. In 1919, he founded the Institute of Artistic Culture and helped create 22 museums all across the Soviet Union. But the government had begun to prefer realistic art styles instead of avant-garde, so Kandinsky moved away from Russia and settled in Berlin, Germany. Kandinsky was a very busy person, but he still found time to paint even with his crazy schedule. This was when his art style would completely change again, finally becoming the abstract artist he wanted to be. While he used to paint spontaneously, he decided to try a different method and began to paint in a more deliberate and calculated way. This change can be seen in his paintings White Line and Blue Segment. In 1922, he was offered a teaching position in the Bauhaus School of Architecture and Applied Art. Even though Bauhaus was much more research-driven, Kandinsky still created his abstract art. He also wrote several treatises or academic papers about art and color. His very first one was called Concerning the Spiritual in Art, where he talked more about his synesthesia and what he experienced. In 1933, he moved to Paris when the Bauhaus was forced to close. He lived his last 11 years near Paris and became a French citizen in 1939. By this point, he preferred to call his work concrete compared to abstract. He combined the geometric shapes of his work during his time at Bauhaus and the organic shapes of his time in Moscow. Some of his art that emerged with the style are Dominant Violet, Dominant Curve, 15, Moderation, and Tempered Elan. In 1944, Kandinsky passed away at the age of 77. He was a huge influence on 20th century art, being one of the main pioneers of abstract art and the avant-garde movement. His work was far ahead of his time and is now celebrated and practiced by museums and classrooms around the world. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Please share it with a fellow art nerd. And if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe.